Some good news from the Ada County Sheriff's Office tonight. We have closely been following developments in the triple murder of a family off Cartwright Road in Boise's foothills. And now, Sheriff Gary Rainey says nearby residents not worry about their safety anymore. On your side's Lauren Johnson has been on top of the story all week long, joins us live with the very latest. Lauren? Roland, the three bodies were found right over here at their home near the Hidden Springs community in Boise. But it's true, Sheriff Rainey did say in a tweet today that he is happy to say people can feel safe tonight. They say the triple homicide investigation is still very much an open investigation, and detectives are working around the clock to gather every piece of evidence. One of those pieces of evidence, the victim Elaine Welp's engagement ring that the Sheriff's Department requested help finding was recovered from a local jeweler's. There have been no new arrests nor additional charges. The only man arrested in connection with the case continues to be 22-year-old Adam Dees who used the victim's credit cards. But the sheriff, ser, sheriff's office does say Dees could face additional charges. Neighbors in the Hidden Springs neighborhood of Boise feel relief after hearing what Sheriff Rainey says. Many have been on edge since hearing about the three people killed in their North Cartwright home nearby. I started to feel, you know, if it can happen, who knows, it can happen anywhere. But um, then I saw the sheriff and he was really confident and believable and he made me feel better, like, don't worry about it and everything will be okay. <laughs> Sheriff Rainey said in a news release today a few days ago, I could not confidently tell you to not be concerned about your safety. Today, I feel comfortable saying that you can sleep peacefully tonight without fear and worry of an ongoing threat in the community. Now, again, Dees has not been charged with murder, but he still remains to be the only one arrested with connection to the crime. And the sheriff's office is saying that further charges could be filed. Right now, he's being held in the Ada County Jail on a $2 million bond. In Boise, Lauren Johnson, today's six on your side. Thanks.